and I'm going to show you how to create a collection of items within the Transatlantic Writing Omeka archive. Now, in order to create an archive, excuse me, in order to create a collection within this archive, uh, a person has to have admin user privileges. Now, uh, there are different levels of privileges when you use, you sign up to use the site. Uh, there's contributor user, there's researcher user, but these don't allow you to create collections of items. So in order to get an admin user privilege, uh, then just contact me and I'll make sure that that happens once I know that you're a trusted contributor. Now, once you have admin privileges, uh, the way that you make a collection uh, is by using the administrator dashboard. And I'll show you how to do this. Uh, let's take a look at a collection of items that was uploaded all as one big giant upload. Uh, this particular collection of items was uh, is, is a really wonderful set of individual documents. There are 51 documents here. And all of these documents individually are really fantastic. The problem is, by uploading all of the documents at one time and giving them all one name, uh, you've created a very long, as you can see by the scroll bar here, you've created one very long collection of items. And you'll notice that each one of the individual items is without a name for that particular item. And there's no metadata associated with it, no descriptive information or metadata associated with it so that we can, we can see what the individual item is. And that, and that makes it a lot more difficult for the user to use this particular collection of items put together in this way. The other problem, as well as the scrolling being a bit unwieldy, is that once you get to the bottom here, you'll see that you can enter tags for, for, your, uh, for the items within this collection. But by putting them into the archive all as one big giant upload, uh, you create a problem. The problem is, is that any tags you attribute to this page will be attributed to every single one. The tags will be uh, attributed to every single one of these items all at the same time. So that when users to the site come to use the search feature of the site, what happens is, is they might be trying to find one or two or three items associated with a particular uh, keyword or tag or set of tags but what they'll always end up finding is all of these documents at the same time, undifferentiated by any sort of titles or metadata. And so what we want to do is, is we want to take each one of these items, upload them individually into the archive, and then collect them together as a collection once they've been entered uh, individually. We do this by going to the home page and um, logging in as admin. Once you've logged in as your admin and you get to the uh, dashboard, you'll scroll down to the section for collections. You'll click on the link, add a collection to group items. Click on that link and you'll be given this page. Uh, on this page, this is the page where you will actually create the name and description of the collection that you want to create. And you do that by typing in the name, and for our purposes we'll just type in test, and uh, even before you create your collection you want to think about it a little bit and create a description. So give your collection a name, add your description, and then you'll also want to uh, uh, add the names of yourself or anyone else who's a participant in creating this collection. Once you've those, done those things, once you've done those things, uh, you want to make sure that your collection status is set as not public and not featured until you have completed the collection. Until you've completed putting all of the items that are going to be a part of the collection into the collection. Once you've done those things, save. Save your collection and you'll be taken to this page. And you'll see that your test collection is now a named collection for the site. However, there are no items, no items within this collection yet. So, what we'll do is, is we'll begin adding items to this collection. And we do that by going up to the Items tab of your dashboard. Click on the Items tab, and you'll see the uh, list of all the items within the, within the uh, archive. Uh, let's go ahead and add this list of Samuel Moss's taxable property to our 
our, collect, our newly created collection. We'll do that by clicking on the edit link for that particular item. And once the page for that item, the page of information and metadata for that item comes up, we'll go down to the collection tab, click on the collection tab, and then you'll be given this drop down menu. Use the drop down menu to select your new art, excuse me, to select your new collection. Once you've selected the collection that you want this item to be a part of, save your changes. Then you'll be shown a page that shows you what's been, what's been made into a part of your collection. Let's add another item. Click on the Items tab. Choose an item. Let's say Gaffney Receipt number 3. Click the Edit link. Once you, get the, uh, once you get the page for that item, go to, collection, go to the Collection tab. Then use the drop-down menu to put this item into your collection and save. The next page will be your item, uh, will be the item that's just been added to the collection. And you can, as you notice here, you can begin adding tags to that particular item from this page too. Let's add one more item. There aren't any items on this particular page that I want to add, but I'm going to go to page three of my items, collection of items, and I'm going to add this particular item within our archive to our collection. Click on the edit link, then the collection tab, and then with your drop down menu, add your item to the collection that we have just created. Save your changes. Now we have this item in our collection also, and you can begin adding more tags to that particular item within the collection. Now, once you've finished adding items to your collection and you want to see, actually take a look at the collection itself, go over to the View Public Site tab, click on it, and then we'll scroll down from the main page to the Browse Collections link. Click on that, and then when you scroll down, you'll see a link for the collection that has a description or an excerpt of the description, and the num names of the collectors of this, uh, uh, the name of the contributors to this collection. Let's click on the link for this newly made collection of items, and now you'll be taken to a page that gives you a name for the collection and a description of the collection as well as the collectors, and now each item has an image associated with it, and that image is it has descriptive information about the item that exists within the collection. And so now you can see the name of the collection, the description of it, and the individual items along with descriptions of those individual items that are named. And this is the way that you want to do all of your collections within a, an Omeka site like the Early Transatlantic Writing Project site. And again, just to sum up how we do this one more time, in order to create a new collection, go to the home site, uh, log in as admin. Once you get to the admin dashboard, go to the Add Collections to Group of Items link. Create your new collection by giving it a name. adding descriptive information about your collection, and giving your collection a list of names of people who are contributors to this collection. Make sure that the status of the collection that you're just creating is not public and not featured until you have completed your collection, and then save it. You'll see your new collection in the next window, and in order to add items to this collection, you'll notice that new collections have nothing in them. In order to add items, you'll want to go to the Items tab, click on it, choose the item that you want to add to the collection, and click on the Edit link, then the Collection tab, then add your item to the collection that you want it to be a part of and save your changes. Let's add one more item by going to the Items tab. 
going to the particular item that you want to add and clicking on the edit link for that item. Then going to the collection tab for the item, the drop down menu, in order to put it into the collection that you want it to be a part of, save your changes. You'll be taken to a screen that shows you the item that has been added to your collection. You can also add tags to that item. And then in order to see what is in your collection, go to the home page for the site, scroll down to Browse Collections, and then you can scroll to find the new collection that you have just created with descriptive information and the name of the collectors. Click on the link for your new collection. You'll see that your collection has a title, a description for that particular collection, and then you'll see that there are are images for the items within your collection, all of which have titles for the image and descript descriptive information for the particular item in item or items within the collection. And that is how you create a collection of items for this particular site. And remember that once you have your collection ready to go and completely set up, you can click on the links from your admin dashboard in order to make your collection live to the public, and then you can make it a featured collection if you would like to. Thank you, and I will see you soon.